So this is going to be the, uh, the pity party is over. I guess that's what this is all about. Um, I'm done feeling sorry for myself, feeling like boo-hoo for me and things aren't going to get any better and it's just always going to be bad times. You know, it's crazy because today really should be a day that I am sad for a number of reasons that I really don't want to get into in this video. There are some things that I really, really wish I could talk about, but I just don't feel like talking about those just yet. I promise you though, however, there may come a time very soon when I will address those situations. One of which is YouTube. I feel like YouTube is fucking with me, but that's okay though. It's neither here nor there. We're not gonna cry over spilt milk and we're not gonna pity party this shit anymore, I guess. I don't know. I said I wasn't gonna mention the YouTube thing. <laughs> And the first thing that I did was I mentioned the fucking YouTube thing. By the way, Cody's just sitting here hey watching me film. So if it looks like I'm talking to myself, if it looks like Joe may be going a little crazy over here, don't worry, there actually is somebody over there that I was talking to. I may be schizophrenic, I don't know. But let's not dwell on the negative, let's dwell on the positive. And there's a lot of positive to mention today. One major thing to mention is the fact that we just hit 400,000 subscribers here on After Prison Show. So I definitely want to extend a heartfelt, what's the word? Thank you to all of you out there who rock with and support After Prison Show. Through my tough times, through the ups and downs and the roller coaster that my life has been uh, coming home from prison trying to get my life back together. So many of you have been there for so long with me during this journey. And I definitely owe you a lot of thanks, and I have a lot of gratitude toward all of you as well. If you're new here, thank you for subscribing, and thank you for deciding to rock with After Prison Show. I promise you, at least I will do my very best to not let you down. I promise you, you will not be disappointed in After Prison Show. You won't be. As you can see from the intro to this video, Joe definitely got back on the workout today in a major way. If I would have shown you the entire workout, it lasted for about 45 minutes and I went in. I literally killed myself in the gym. I even ran one mile on the treadmill. Did you like the little Joe running from the cop scene right there? No bullshit, that's probably exactly what I used to look like while running from the police. Even though I did kind of fast forward that scene, yeah, that's pretty much what Joe used to be like, running from the police. It was pretty much just like... <laughs> I'm not sure that's ever going to make the cut. That probably looked goddamn ridiculous. But I want to say that I am feeling a lot better today. I mean, I have to. I have no fucking choice. I can either continue to dwell on the bullshit or I can figure out a way to try to move past that. And by spending 40 plus minutes in the gym running a mile, you want to know how long it took me to run one mile? It took me about 20 minutes. That's pretty good time for me at least. And I'm kidding. It, it, it only took me like 12. But that's still horrible time. And... I'm going to continue to be in the gym every single day. I'm going to do these videos. I'm going to get back on these prison topics. I'm going to tell you all the things that you want to hear. I'm going to answer all the crazy questions. I'm going to tell you all about what it was like on Joe's last day in prison. I'm also going to continue to tell you crazy prison stories. I don't care how much YouTube tries to censor this content here because I got to tell you, they definitely are trying to, they're definitely trying to put a muzzle on old Joe's mouth. But I got to tell you, it's just not going to work. Do you hear me? It's not going to work. Because if it does end up happening, well then we're just going to take after prison show elsewhere. And that's something that you learn to do, I guess, being locked up. Having a plan for a plan. Uh, if things don't work out, because 9 times out of 10 they're not while you're locked up, you always have to have a plan B, C, and even... Well, D is just such a dirty letter of the alphabet. I don't even want to say D because when I say the letter D, I am reminded of this cellmate that I used to have by the nickname of Delicious. <sighs> Flashbacks. And you know, there's other things that I wish I could talk to you about here as well, but I just... I can't. I mean, I, I just can't. I really wish I could tell you this really crazy story that just happened, like... The other day, but I guess I'm going to save that just for a little while. But I promise you that if and when I do tell you this story, it is completely out of fucking control. What you will also start to see more of here on After Prison Show is Joe trying to get back into life. 
I feel like I have cut myself off completely from life, dealing with depression, dealing with anxiety, dealing with all sorts of shit, but that's just something that I no longer will allow myself to do. I'm not gonna continue to be like this victim, okay? I'm not a victim. I'm actually, well, I'm not a victim. I don't know what I would consider myself, but not a victim. So I'm gonna get back to living life and there's gonna be all sorts of crazy shit that comes along with that because one thing about it, my life is far from normal and definitely falls under the category of fucking insane sometimes. And I, I wanna say this, if you're out there dealing with anything at all, work out. Push yourself to the absolute limit and literally just fucking exhaust yourself. Do as much as you can, however much or however little that actually amounts to. Uh, believe me, the, the 40 plus minutes that I spent in the gym today, I probably looked ridiculous in there, but at the same time, I'm, I'm exhausted now. Literally running this mile was the first time that I've ran in forever. And even though I am so exhausted after doing that, I, I feel great. I feel a lot better about myself. I don't hate myself so much, I guess is the right thing to God, that sounds horrible, but it's the truth. You know, when you're depressed, you're going to feel bad about yourself. You're not going to look at yourself in a good regard. You'll look in the mirror and you might not like what you see. And I have to be honest with you, that's something that I've done for a long time. I look in the mirror sometimes and I just, I want to punch it. And that's, that's real. But going to the gym today and actually pushing myself to the absolute limit, doing as much as I could in that short period of time that I spent in there, it's helped me to feel a lot better. Probably going to sleep really good tonight. I haven't been sleeping too well lately. And I need this. And this is something else that's going to be a major part of my life again. Working out. Hell, summertime's right around the corner and Joe needs to get the beach body on. In prison, there is this, uh... There's this body shape. You've got guys who work out religiously in, in prison. You've got guys who work out just a little bit. And these guys who work out religiously, obviously they look like they belong on like WWE somewhere, maybe on SmackDown. I mean, these guys look like they belong in a, a wrestling ring instead of a prison. Or, or maybe, they, maybe they really do just belong in a prison. I don't know. But you have these guys who only work out a little bit and what they do do this for is because they say they want to go home with what is referred to as a bedroom body. Yeah, it only looks good in the bedroom, I guess. Maybe when the lights are down. I don't know. Maybe that's what I came home with. Maybe I came home with a bedroom body. Not honestly sure. I wasn't a big guy when I came home from prison, but I definitely was in good shape and I want to get back to that. I'm also doing everything I can to stop smoking cigarettes. Hell, I may even try to do the vape thing. Even though that scares me to death uh, because I saw something on Facebook where a guy was actually doing like a vape or maybe an e-cig, whatever the hell it was. And the thing literally blew up on him and like almost blew his damn face off. In fact, it did do a lot of damage to his face. So I'm, I'm really scared about that. I would rather just go cold turkey and be shooting these videos like, oh, quitting is not easy. It's not. But I'd rather show you that than to show you uh, Joe on the vape. Because if Joe was to start vaping, I feel like I might turn into one of those professional vapors. Those guys who blow like smoke out of their mouth and their nose at the same time. I don't know how you do that. Even their ears. Do they blow smoke out of their ears? Well, that wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> how do you do that? I'm not actually sure. But anyways, look. I'm not going to take up any more of your time. I just want to say... Thank you to everyone. Thank you to the entire APS Army for continuing to rock with the After Prison Show. Thank you for being with me during this little turbulent period that I just went through. And also, thank you for helping After Prison Show reach 400K subscribers. This is a milestone that, I don't know, it's unbelievable to me. It only makes me think that the sky is the limit. And I hope the sky is what we reach. To each one of you out there, thank you again. Never give up on trying to do the very most that you can do every single day. And also continue to do the most that you can to be the best that you can be in this world. Don't go to prison. It's not a good look at all. Hey, look, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did so, please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you thought about it. As always, until next time, something I haven't said in like three videos. Enjoy life, the free world, never take a moment for granted, and make the most of every day. Joe's back, y'all.